This video presentation is about how to use and implement third-party VST instruments in a DAW that doesn't support any VSTIs or has VST plugin limitations due to entry-level edition or demo versions. It's also aimed to a music producer that has a $0 budget or it can also be used as a creative way to use VST instruments. Normally, VST instruments are installed and loaded with your DAW and reside inside your DAW, and they communicate directly with your DAW. When we play the notes on our MIDI keyboard, the MIDI notes are sent to our DAW. Our DAW records those notes on our tracks and at the same time sends it to our VST instrument, which in turn plays the sampled sounds and sends the output into our DAW. And our DAW sends that digital audio signal into our audio interface, which converts it from digital to analog and sends to our speakers, and we can hear them on our speakers. This is the basic data flow of VST instruments. There are quite a few VST instruments available that also work as a standalone mode. They are standalone applications, meaning they run outside a DAW. This method can be used during live performances without using any DAW. Our MIDI keyboards talks directly to our standalone mode VST instrument and the output audio from our VST instrument is sent to our audio interface and the output goes to our speakers. Here are some examples which are not limited to are the Ample Sound Ample Guitar M2 Lite, which is the free version you can download from Ample Sound. They also have Ample Bass P that you can download and run as a standalone mode. Native Instruments also has free range of sample players and synthesizers that run as a standalone mode. We have the free contact player. We also have the guitar rig that runs in a standalone mode. IK Multimedia has Sample Tank 4 that runs in a standalone mode. Also, the Amplitude 3 from IK Multimedia. And if you do know other VST instruments that run in a standalone mode, feel free to comment in the comment section to list them and share that information with everybody else as well. So let's have a look how we can implement uh, VST instruments in standalone mode in a DAW that doesn't support any VST instruments. Here I'm using example the Studio One Prime Edition from Personas, but the same method can also be applied to Pro Tools first by Avid. So let's go to the steps and find out how we can use a VST instrument in a standalone mode while still using our DAW. So first we play on our MIDI controller keyboard and then we record this MIDI information in Studio One instrument track and listen the VSDI standalone audio on speakers as we are playing. Then we can play back the MIDI in recorded in Studio One. And this MIDI information is sent to the VSDI in standalone mode. And then the audio output of the standalone mode we can record back into Studio One as an audio track. Then we can play back all the audio tracks in Studio One. In Studio One, we set up our MIDI controller keyboard as an external devices which will listen to our MIDI keyboard and allow us to record an instrument track MIDI notes and at the same time send those MIDI notes back out to our VSD instrument in standalone mode. And then the audio output of our VSDI in standalone mode is sent back to our DAW as an audio signal that we can record as an audio track. And then we play everything back as audio through our audio interface into our speakers. Of course, how do we connect our standalone mode audio output 
into Studio One, where most DAWs will only allow one audio interface. And here comes the solution, ASIO for All. We can install the ASIO for All driver, and then we can set up in ASIO for All to combine the output of our VST instrument in standalone mode and our actual audio interface so that the output of our VST instrument is fed back into our DAW. So our MIDI notes from our keyboard goes to Studio One, at the same time goes out to our VST instrument. The audio output from our VST instrument in standalone mode goes to ASIO for all, which in turn sends it to Studio One. And then the audio output of Studio One also sent to ASIO for all, and the combined output will actually go to our audio interface into our speakers. Once you understand the concept of how this works, then you can take the next step of how to get the MIDI note out of Studio One into VST Instrument, and then how to get the audio out of the VST Instrument into ASIO for all to combine with your actual audio interface. And here is the MIDI solution. There is a software which is free, you can download, and I will leave the link in the description, called Loop MIDI Driver. This is an inter-app MIDI communication software driver. It will emulate a MIDI port on your Windows system. So Studio One will see it as another MIDI port next to your actual MIDI keyboard player. And at the same time, your VST instrument will also see this virtual MIDI port that it can listen to. So Studio One will receive from one MIDI port MIDI notes from your actual keyboard, then forward that MIDI information to your virtual instrument via the virtual loop MIDI port. And then the next trick is the audio driver, VB-Audio Driver, which is an inter-app audio communication software. Again, it is free to download, donationware, and I will leave the link in the description. Then you can download and install. This will create a virtual audio interface on your Windows system that you can set your virtual instrument audio output to it. And then in ASIO for All, it will appear as another audio interface next to your actual audio interface. And then combining them together, Studio One will actually see not only your actual audio interface, but also the audio from the virtual audio interface coming from your VSDI instrument. So this way, we have a MIDI communication between Studio One and our virtual instrument, and audio communication between our virtual instrument and Studio One. Now you may ask yourself, why would I go to all this trouble to have a VST instrument in my music creation? Well, as I mentioned, you may be one of those music producers with zero budget, but even more so, even if you already have a DAW that supports VST instruments within itself with no limitations, let's say if you are using Cakewalk by BandLab or Waveform by Traction, Understanding this will give you an extra advantage of seeing things more creatively, being able to do things outside the box, having better understanding of how things work, and being more creative with your music production. If you like me to do an actual demonstration video of how all of this interconnects and how it actually works, comment below and give it a like on this video. I'll make sure that I'll do another video that actually covers in detail and show you how it actually works. Till next time, have great fun learning about how to use 
VST instrument in standalone mode and implement them within your DAW. Till next time, as always, thanks for watching and have a great time making music. Cheerio, guys.